An abused Doberman dog is recovering, but concerns still remain on the recent rash of animal abuse cases in the Twin Tiers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Daryl Kirkland Morgan. And I'm Jennifer Sheehan. Thanks for choosing WENY News at 530. Investigators have seen an increase in the number of animal cruelty cases over the past few weeks. That's right. Police arrested an Elmira man last month after his five-year-old Doberman was found in very poor physical condition. Then just this weekend, Elmira firefighters discovered a cat that had been set on fire. WNY's Tanja Rakey spoke with animal control officers today about the recent cruelty cases. She joins us live with more. Tanja. Daryl and Jen, Elmira Animal Control responded today to check in on a horse they got a call about in Southport. He was okay, but they say they were possibly hearing about more cases lately because the community is becoming more aware of some of these issues. Over the past month, at least five cases of animal cruelty reported in the Twin Tiers. Beginning with this dog who was found frozen to death in an upside down crate in Farmington Township at the end of January. Then just days later, five-year-old Diesel was found completely malnourished in his Elmira home. Next, 35-year-old Hyacinth Stone of Watkins Glen was arrested for leaving a dog in a kennel in his own urine and feces. This past weekend, the Elmira Fire Department responded to what they thought was a structure fire, but when they got to the scene, they found this cat was set on fire. Police are still investigating the case. And just today, a Mansfield man was charged with animal cruelty because he didn't give several cows access to clean and sanitary shelter. Well, recently there's been, you know, a couple cruelties in the news, so it reminds people to take a look at what's going on in their neighborhood and that they should call, you know, even if they're not for sure something's going on. That's what animal control is for. We can go out and check it out for you. In New York and Pennsylvania, animal cruelty could be a violation, misdemeanor, or felony, depending on the severity. Diesel is one of the fortunate few, saved before it's too late. He's at the Elmira Animal Shelter, recovering. You know, he's doing a lot better. He just gained another six and a half pounds this past week. <clears throat> so he's up to 56 pounds now. He's doing much better. He's getting a little excited and getting his pet back. He's feeling a lot better. The community has come together to help the dog, neighbors, customers at the Sand Dollar in Elmira, and the Arnett Ogden Operating Room have collected and donated money for Diesel's medical expenses. And the shelter wants to thank everyone for their kind donations for Diesel. They have enough money and supplies for him, but donations are always welcome for other shelter expenses. Tanja Reiki, WENY News.